our mix her make loaf like this and this is the way I've always done it. Mmm. Hey guys, how is everyone today? Um, see I got a my big light shining down. I'm sorry about that guys. I gotta somehow or another figure out how to get a a lower voltage light bulb, maybe a that's a sixty five watt. And I'll probably have to get a 45 watt or something like that. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to be making a taco soup. I've made this before, but today I've got more hamburger meat than I did the last time. So I'm just going to um, wing it as I go and see how it turns out. Um, first, I'm going to spray my pan here. If y'all can see the pan a little bit. I'll point it down there just a little bit. I'm going to spray that pan with a little bit of oil. So my uh, green peppers and onions won't stick. You know I always start out most of the time with these green peppers and onions still. And I've got three uh, cloves of frozen garlic too that I just got out of the freezer that I got put right in with them onions. I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. And I've got my green peppers. If y'all ain't never tried taco soup, y'all ought to try a taco soup. I didn't think I would like it, but the last time I fixed it, it, it turned out really good. I just figured, yeah, yeah it'd be just a, you know. And I already washed my hands, guys. I already washed my hands before I started, so. Let me get a big spoon to stir this with. Fine one. Got my handy dandy Ray Drummond's one. Today has been a lazy day, guys. I got up real early, and what happens when I get up early? Then I want to lay down and take a nap, and then after I take a nap in the evening, I'm done for the rest of the day. And when it rains, um, and it's been pouring the rain, see my back and everything hurts, and you just don't want to move. I'm putting a little bit of water in this so it don't stick too off the bed. Until I get my green peppers and onions and garlic going good in this. Guys, I've been up visiting that grandbaby there yesterday. And he is growing so fast. He is already, he's just a little over two months. And it already sounds just like he's saying I good. Which I know he's saying I good. It's amazing how fast he's growing. Still looks just like me, of course. <laughs> I've got my new, i got a new cooker. My sister-in-law got me the whole set um, of uh, these Reed um cookware set. And uh, I've got it sitting out there. I don't know. Or I want to use it or not. Y'all ever got something new and just don't want to use it? You just want to keep it and look at it? That's the kind of way I am about that cooker out there. But I'm using this every time I cook. But it's a beautiful set. I love it. I'm going to uh, finish that piece cooking up. And um, I'll have the... I'll write the recipe out and put it in the description, guys, of what I wind up using, so everybody will know. And I've had to cook it. In order for y'all to see, I have to cook it on this side on this little burner. I'd rather have a big burner in the front. I don't know why they don't put big burners, two big burners in the front of these stoves. That would be idea. I love soup though. Any kind of soup about it, I love. Especially if it's got tomato, uh, diced tomatoes in it. Onions and green peppers, always gotta have it. Got to have that. Got But yeah. I hear that game in there going. They end up playing that game. Well, they can get into them games, I tell you. 
uh, used to when my son was home and played them games. You, you, Lord, you could hear him screaming at them games and basketball games, hollering foul and all this stuff. I thought he's the only one done that, but no. A lot of them young boys do that. Aren't them old games? I see something online the other day about them coming out with a new game. It's on telling how much that might cost. Said it'd probably be out for next Christmas. Of course they'll have it out when you during Christmas. That's when they con you into buying everything. But anyway, guys, I'll bring you back. After these right here uh, get good and uh, ready, and I'll bring them back. Okay, guys, I just put in three pounds of hamburger. Go ahead and break it up. I was going to make this dish earlier in the day, and uh, some people around here forgot to lay the hamburger meat out, so it was still frozen. So I had to wait till this thing, and I could have put it in the microwave, but. I just let it thaw out on its own today on the countertop. This is a lot of hamburger. I also got some little uh, little smoky uh, sausages that I'm going to put in this, but I'll have to let this hamburger cook down before I have room to put everything. These right here are so handy. I just cut that up like butter. Hey, got me a new apron, y'all see? New apron, finally. Give up on fixing that oven. I just never did get time to fix it, so I just laid it back and ordered me this one. I think it's like, I want to say $12, maybe. That ain't bad for an apron. I'm all fancy now, guys. Big fancy cook here. I was watching a lot of cooking videos on, a, on YouTube, but... My eyes started hurting me here lately, and I've just switched off the YouTube and went back to the TV for a little bit, so I ain't been watching a whole lot of videos. Been watching, uh, I watched the whole mar marathon of uh, Alaska Bush People. Y'all ain't never watched that, that's a pretty cool show. I've been watching uh, the new season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. I like her. This, that, and the other. And guys, all this is going to do is cook up. And um, I've got these little sausages here. I'll show you. I've already cut them up, but this is what they, them little uh, little smoky sausages. And I cut cut them in half, most of them. I laid two or three on top of her so y'all can see what I was talking about. See, and I just cut them up in half. Okay. I'm gonna try to dump them in on on top of this meat too, because I think that'll bring some more flavor. So, I'll bring you back when this gets cooked up. Okay, guys. Okay. So, we're back. So, I got the hamburger meat with the little smokies, green peppers, onions, and garlic in there. That's three, three and a half pounds of hamburger. And uh, one of those pack of little smokies. It's hard to stand here in the stove on. Kind of a little hot. <laughs> uh but anyway, there are several ways that I can go with this. I can, this is a, a lot for one pot, just for my family tonight. So I could split this in half, where it's got no seasoning in it right now. Save half of it for another night for spaghetti or something, anything. Um, what's that called? A goulash. Anything like that, I can split half of this up right now. Or, I can go ahead and... Drag this big old giant thing out. Yeah. I need to name this cooker. This cooker's so big it deserves a name. Y'all help me out in the comments naming this 
It's a big girl. But anyway, I can go ahead and put everything in this and make a big batch. And then what we don't eat for supper, I can freeze. And that'll be good freezer meals. So that's what I've decided to do is go ahead and make, since I've already got it all done and everything, instead of saving it and freezing it like that, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the freezer meals. So I'm going to take the lid off this big bad boy. And I'm going to go ahead and put in, this is a 28 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes. In there. And guys, I'm not going by no recipe. I'm just dumping as I go. And uh, we'll see what we, uh, what all we can get in there at the end of the day. This is tomato sauce. And this is a 15 ounce can. Dumping that in there. And we'll go back in with our meat mixture. All that back in there. And then again, this is a taco soup that I'm making. So we have to put our taco seasoning mix in there. I'm going to go ahead. I've got several packs of these. These are original. There's a, a mild one. I think I'm going to do one mild one original. I'm going to put two packs in there right now. Then after I get everything jiving together, I'll uh, see if it needs more. And if it needs more, I'll add another pack. But like I said, I'll have in the description what all I put in it, guys. So I went ahead and put that in there. And it calls for water with these little packs, but I hardly, I seldom add water. I let the juices of other things make up for that water. And for this time, I'm going to put corn in. The juices from that corn I'm leaving right in there. To make up for that. I'm going to add a couple cans of corn because I love corn. Yes, I do. So... Hold your ears because I'm going to have to use this can opener. And I don't know how much noise it's going to make. It's not too off the bat, I guess. Now, I've also got... Um, I'm going to have to put water in it, it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some water in it. Um, I've got a can of... This is a... A 15 ounce dark red kidney beans that I've already wrenched and I'm not using the juices of the kidney beans I already wrenched the juices off of here. I don't ever like the looks of that that kind of juice left in cans and I might have to put a second can but I've got let me see here what else I've got here to throw in there it's on time I'll come out with y'all here we go I've got some low sodium vegetable juice that I'm going to use instead of water. Make that on up. I'm going to put half of this. This is a 64 full ounce bottle, so I'm going to put half of it in there. Half in the thing and half on me. Y'all know I ain't cooking unless I'm making a mess. That looks perfect. That much in there. Put the lid on this and put it in the fridge and save it for something else. Put the water away. I don't want to use that water. Now, I'm going to let this cook a little bit. And then I will see uh, what kind of how the seat how we are on seasonings. I've got salt and pepper laid out here. I've got another pack of this if I need it. I've got several packs of that if I need it. But I'm thinking I'm gonna let y'all look at it. You can see it like that. Look, it looks good. I'm thinking I might put another can of uh, beans in it. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll put another can of beans and uh, let it simmer a while and I'll bring you guys back after I let it simmer. But first, let's go ahead and put these beans in there. My all over the place, guys. All over the place. I'm going to uh, rinse these off. Almost 
got these ranches. We'll put these in there. Okay. Go ahead and put them right in there. Another can of them beans. We'll let that simmer, and I, uh, I would say that after that cooks a little bit, I may uh, end up having to put some more of that um, V8 juice, too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll let this cook a while. But we'll bring you back and let you know how this is. Hey, guys. Okay. Glad you're all back. Okay. Um, I just, a uh, while ago, gave this a taste test, and it tastes really good, but it's not taco enough so i went ahead and added two more packs of this so it's four packs but again guys this is a big batch this is three and a half pound of hamburger and a whole big pack of smokies so four packs of these and it wasn't salty enough for us so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more salt not a lot and some pepper I'm just clear that up for a minute. This is what you want, guys, on a cold day. This is what you want. This stuff will stick to your bones. Like I need stuff sticking to my bones. I don't need nothing sticking to my bones. But anyway, you all know what I'm saying. Got me a clean spoon here and I'm going to taste. Guys, that's perfect. I'm going to bring you guys up and let you look at it. There's what it's looking like, guys. I just got it cut down real low on simmer. It's just, see, it's still boiling a little bit. I don't want it to stick. But that's what it looks like. And this is going to be delicious on a cold, cold day. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'll just hang out here with my bright light. As you can see, as soon as I get to Walmart, I'm getting lower wattage bulbs and see if that don't fix this issue. It's driving me crazy. But at least I got light I can see. But um, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, please click the button if you ain't already subscribed and subscribed. I'm so close to getting to the 500 subscribers, which is amazing. I never thought I'd be to five, almost to 500 by now. But anyway, um, y'all make this. Uh, Make it in this big batch and do like I, I'm going to do, freeze half of it. Can't go wrong doing that, and that way you won't have to cook one night. But anyway, thank you all again for watching, and I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.